Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name's Kyle. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna spear. We got a little spear here. Um, we can spear bluegill, crappie, rock bass, perch, white bass, and rough fish in Wisconsin in some counties. This is a lake that I can spear in and I am close enough to shore that I don't need to have a dive flag or anything. And this is a really small lake and it's like seven in the morning. The sun's coming up. It's beautiful out. I got some weeds right behind me. I'm going to dive down into them weeds. And today I'm basically going to try to get some really good underwater footage of harvesting some fish. Um, we're trying to get some bigger bluegills, some crappies, something that'll make a nice meal. You know, if I was sitting here with bobbers and worms catching fish, it'd be the same thing, except I wouldn't have to catch 30 small fish and you know risk hooking them in the gills and killing those fish um, I could just harvest the fish that I want per se but we're gonna get the wetsuit on I got this here I like wearing a wetsuit because it it helps me stay buoyant like I mean I can swim but like it's just nice not having to stay swimming while you're spearing because you can kind of just float along and then let go of the spear and how these spears work I get a lot of questions basically there's um you have this band, but this band is usually tied to right here. And then you put your hand through. Let me set this down here really quick. This is just quick. So once the band is attached in the back here, you basically put pressure against it like this. And then that just forces the spear forward um, when you're ready to shoot the fish. So I'm gonna put this band through here so it's nice and ready to go. And this is a replacement band. I got this off Amazon. I'll Put a link down if you guys are looking for bands um but let's get at it let's spear some fish all right guys there is a lot i don't know how good this is but there's a lot of bluegill down here nice ones down here over here so we have lily pads some sand and then there's some vegetation that comes up right here we're gonna get down in this vegetation i can see one two three at least five bluegill right there that I could that I would spear. Oh man, let's go! Woo! You ready? Are you ready? Hold your breath. Well guys, I missed, uh, I missed a nice bluegill right away. And then they all just kind of, they were gone. So I move them down a little further, closer to like a huge weed patch. So then probably be a lot more fish, hopefully. So just moving down there really quick and uh, I'll get back in the water again. Well, ob obviously, I mean, yeah. So basically right now what I'm doing is just cruising along down to that spot, but I'm looking, standing up front here. There's a big bass right there. Can't spear bass, but just kind of standing up front here, looking, uh, checking out through these weeds and, you know, looking for schools of bluegill. I don't know if you guys can really, yeah, you kind of see there. Well, there's a lot of bait fish up on top. I just went past and missed them. Let's get some fish this time. nice bluegill looking looking right at it and just let it go right into their face cool thing no meat is ruined on this guy we got a whole fillet over here that I went through with the front of his face so we'll get a whole fillet of fish 
and sometimes people think oh spearing ruins the meat this and that guys spearing does not ruin the meat even if it did it would just it's a little tiny hole so i'm gonna put this guy right up here on the board first bagel gill guys look at this all right let's get back at it So the only thing you have to remember with spearing is that everything looks bigger underwater. Now this is this isn't a huge bluegill. We'll get a we'll get a slab of meat off it, but the first one I shot was giant. This one looked okay, but we're gonna try to catch keep bigger ones than that. That was right right under the boat too. That was pretty sweet. They must have like followed me back. There's a nice crappie I just got. Tanker. I'd say that's a 10 incher probably. Well guys, kind of a midday update. Uh, I think I have like five fish. I don't know. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Couple medium bluegills, couple nice bluegills, decent crappie. Um, but them it's weird, them bluegills are just like circling me, but they're circling just like right outside my spear zone and I got a couple spears from my buddy that introduced me to spear and drew. Um, this one I had at one of my old houses and dad had it in his garage still. But um, and I put that band on it this morning. But Drew made this spear, which it's it's probably maybe 14, 15 inches longer. And it has this slingshot rubber band on it. It's it's homemade, it's pretty sweet. But my if you look at my hand. See how red it is right here this one's not red that's from holding the spear under pressure with that with that band um yeah but i think this one here is a little better because it's got like the slingshot part which that is what's would be usually sitting in that spot in your hand which would it, it uh seems like it disperses out the pressure a little bit better so i'm gonna go back underwater with drew's spear I, I really like this spear and it's the single point and uh, I'm going to try to 
put the stringer around my waist so that I can just not have to swim back to the boat every time because I think I'm going to be successful with this spear a couple times. I know one time I smacked one bluegill with it and I slid it down and I got another bluegill, but I want to be able to keep going and not have to swim back to the boat. So what I'm going to do is take the stringer. The stringer, it's way too long. I don't want to get caught up in it down there, but um, I'm going to take probably you know a couple feet of this wrap it uh wrap it around my waist and then i'll just tie a new knot in it and then i'll be able to slide some bluegill through it just to you know put it on my waist there and swim with them per se but uh about that much i'm gonna cut her off make a loop and get back down there and hopefully get into some get into some more bluegill let's just do this like that got a knot got this wrapper around her here and then I'll just kind of go one more time around it just super light maybe I'll even I don't know I don't know I got to figure this out because you don't want to be caught under anything in the water that springer oh no they're pounding the bluegill some crappie absolutely hammered them i'm gonna do a count I might call her a day here all right guys i just went down there with uh with the stringer there and uh i ended up just holding on to the stringer and uh holding on to the camera in like the same hand just kind of swimming around like this and uh got into a couple decent fish i mean not anything giant, but decent bluegill, little crappie, little crappie, bluegill, bluegill. Uh, that one's a little small, but they'll fillet up. We can fillet some fish. Drop these bad boys down in the net. So I'm going to do a quick count here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
All right, 13, maybe 14 fish in there. Uh, I'm gonna go home and uh, get these guys filleted up. What time is it? 9.30, not bad. Look at it out here, guys. It's just like black, calm. I might have to like cast a buzz bait or top water just, just to take a couple casts with the old fishing pole. We'll see about that. We'll see. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this camera right here on my chest, and I'm gonna throw out this little loon. Looks like a little loon. To Weston. Just it sits on top and it just swims along like a little ducky. Hopefully we catch a big old bass on this thing. Let's try it out. Then we're gonna get home and fillet some fish. All right, are you ready? Let's try it right up in here. Just give him some pop. Oh my gosh. You guys, first cast. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. She is stuck deep in the weeds. Hang on. Oh, he got off. He's gone. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? There's always next time. Next time, there will be no next time. He chomped it. Oh, all right, let's try again. Is he still up at, at home? He's like, I'm eating baby ducks for breakfast this morning. Okay, one more. Hail Mary, one more gas. And we're out. Well guys, I'm gonna get headed off the lake, get back to the house, and we'll fillet up some bluegill. Show you, uh, show you what, how much meat we got off of 14, 15 bluegill, and I'll get a final count on them as well. So stay tuned guys back at home here and uh i got 13 we got i think two crappie and then uh the rest are bluegill but i'm just i got some ice in a thing here i'm just giving it some water i'm gonna end up putting the meat in this to kind of cool it down and make it like just firmer instead of like hot and mushy or whatnot but yeah check these fish out this is what we got we got some decent bluegills a couple small ones there's a big sunny down there's crappies still alive a couple of them are still alive, but uh, I'm gonna get fillet them, do a little fillet montage, show you all the meat we get from them, and um, I'll actually fillet the I'll fillet the crappie first because that's the one that took like the most damage per se. Like, here. let's see. So this crappie had three holes in it from the one spear. I'm gonna fillet this guy up. Really quick, show you how much meat we get off of just one fish that has been speared because, you know, some people say that spearing ruins the meat or whatnot, but, you know, there's a little bit of damage, but not much at all. I mean, that, we still have a very nice fillet of meat. I mean, look at that. You can't, can't beat that, but, I'm gonna get these fish laid up and we're gonna have them for dinner tonight and they're gonna be delicious. Just like that, a pile of meat. Check this out. I mean, there's quite a bit of meat there, 26. I mean, 13 fish is 26 fillets. And even, you know, some of them smaller bluegill. That's still, that'll fry up. Look at Ellie, oh, you want this, huh? Oh yeah, she's ready to rock. But guys, hope you enjoyed that episode of Spearing Underwater, it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, like I said, we're gonna have this for dinner tonight. Um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.